Hey guys, Pierce here, and today we are going to be playing City Skylines. So, I've been waiting for this game for quite a while now, and it just came out on Tuesday. So, basically, what I'm going to be doing for you is, today is Monday, and I'm going to be uploading a video every day this week. So, well, Monday to Friday at least. So, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy, and we're going to be basically starting up a new city on this game. So... I have actually, as you can see by the continue game option, I have been playing this game just to like get the gist of it, and I've got to say it's a really good game, so I hope you're going to enjoy this series. Anyway, to start off with, we're going to need to pick one of these region maps for our city to be in. Now this one, we've got like natural resources and that stuff, and like the water availability, and obviously you have to look at the suitability area, for, or suitable area for buildings, so how much of the land you can actually build on. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's see what's nice. I like that one actually. Two rivers. It's got quite a big area for building on. And it's got that, um, quite a bit of water. And obviously it's nice to have a river as well, because you can build your city over the river and that kind of stuff. Um, Shady Strat. I think we're going to go with two rivers, and we'll call it Pierce-sania. Should I? I'd, yeah, whatever. pierce -ania. Yeah. I can't really think of a better name for it. I'll I'll change it if somebody comments with a better name for it. Um, so let's see if we set left-hand traffic because that's very important. And hopefully it'll load in nice and this cute little bridge there. Uh, yeah, you can rename stuff in this. So I might like I'm not sure. I might end up comparing this game quite a bit to SimCity and the stuff that it has and the stuff that it doesn't. Have. By the way, um, I obviously, in, in case you didn't hear from, uh, I mentioned it, I think, in one of my Battlefield videos, the SimCity series isn't going to be continuing just because uh, I the world went corrupt. But hopefully, the world go won't go and corrupt. Well, the world won't go corrupt on here, and we'll be able to play a full series and build a pretty decent city with it. So this is the area we get given when we load in. We've got Chirpy here who says, hello, it's Chirper, keep an eye. And uh, he actually gets really annoying later on in the game. So I think the easiest way to start off is just to build a roundabout off of here. Because otherwise if we start building one-way lanes, it kind of gets quite confusing. So, oh wait, hang on, we need to build, yeah, we need to build a road before we can unlock these, so... Right, if we build, yeah, I forgot about that. Basically, um, just in case you're, you're looking to play the game and you want to unlock these, basically you have to build a road, one of these roads, before you can unlock the one-way roads and the dirt roads and the, or gravel roads even, uh, and these kind of roads here. So we're going to build the roundabout. If you right-click and turn the mouse, you can swivel like that, and that should be good. Now if we can take the little bits off of the roundabout here and just add... can we add these? Uh, obviously we... this is motorway, the actual road that's here, but for the moment we'll just... no, no that's too, too, too much. we we'll use four lane roads, that's okay. Yeah, whatever. And this one needs to go this way. So yeah, obviously I said I'd be comparing this game to SimCity quite a, much, quite a lot. Obviously I can't really help that because there's a lot of comparisons to be made. And that looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Now we'll fix it another time when we unlock some more stuff like the highways and everything. And we should build a better intersection. But uh, yeah, basically in this game you can actually build the highways, you can edit the intersections and stuff like that. Um, also you can expand the map but we'll look into that later. And you can build one-way roads like I've just done there. Which, no, I haven't just done that. I've just built two-way roads. Go. 
you know, if I just stick with these simple roads here. And that should have done that in the first place. Right. Now if we should we we'll start building over here I think. So if we have a little curved road come off of the roundabout like that. I know it's not that curved but uh, right, so if we kind of, that's the best way of doing it, if we, uh, if we carry this on actually. Now these are one way roads. That's going to get confusing isn't it? I'll stick with two ways then, and just keep it straight. Now if we build a little intersection here so it's a crossroad and obviously I know crossroads aren't the best for the cities but they're really the easiest way of doing it and curves just become too complicated and just crossroads is just most efficient hopefully we'll be able to compensate for the traffic that they cause by um, building better highways and all that but for the moment we're just gonna stick with these simple roads now for zoning uh, we've got these little tools here. You can either use the paint bucket tool, which is what is default, and that adds like a little, you fill a single area. Uh, this is like a marquee tool, so you drag and drop. And this is just if you want to paint on, and there's a smaller paintbrush there as well. Uh, yeah, so if we, if we just make all of these little green bits here, uh, residential and we might actually change a few of these bits here to commercial just along the roadside and try and paint a bit of commercial on there oh wait, we have to dezone it first so, like that and like that. Well, we'll leave that bit because somebody's already start building it. But like that, and like that, and we've got ourselves. And obviously they're moaning about power and water already, so we're going to need to sort something out for that. If we get a wind turbine to start off with, I suppose, and build it. Why oh, is there a lot of wind over here? Yeah, that's alright. And then power doesn't run through the roads like it did in the newer Sim City. Um, oh, hang on, it's from here, yeah. Uh, so yeah, power doesn't run through the roads as it did in uh, the latest Sim City version. Uh, but if you remember in old, if you've ever played any older versions of Sim Cities where you had to lay the pipes and you had to build the power lines by yourself, it's kind of like that. So, for water as well, we're going to build a water tower anywhere, I guess. So, we'll stick with here for the moment. And connect this up. Now, I'm going to try and run most of the pipe, most of the pipes for this city under the road, just because it's easiest to manage. And so the people who live in, um, what is it at the moment, Pearsani, although we might rename it, or call this town maybe when we unlock districts. You might call it a different name, but anyway, so the uh, water workers don't have to dig up the pipes in the middle of nowhere and all that. They're just right under the roads and they're moaning about sewage now as well. And the water doesn't have a power line. Now it does. So if we stick a sewage outflow pipe somewhere, the water is running that way, so if we plonk it here so that it's you know, downstream, so all the brown stuff, or it looks kind of purple in this game, goes down that way. And then eventually we'll clear it up with uh, some water treatment plants like this here. So if we just try and run a pipe from here. And we need, you know, I'm just going to build a windmill out here, it's easiest. Magic windmill. Here we go. 
Uh, wait, is there even any wind there? Yeah, it's right. Just enough to power this, I suppose. There we go. It's powered now. And how are we doing over here? Turn it up to accelerate time. Turn it up as fast it can go. And it looks like we need some industrial already. Now, we're gonna wanna have the industrial on the other side of where everything is. And it doesn't really say which way the wind's blowing, so I suppose if we just put it over this side so it's kind of out of the way. Uh, oh, no, that's not what we want. There we go. And just kind of bring out a little branch here, I think. Yeah, if we make this curved road, bring out a little branch for industrial, because we, we want to make sure it's like quite far away from the uh, the residential area, because people don't like the noise and all that. Right now, if we make these straight into grids of industrial, like that, and you've got the little markers which show you where everything goes, and like... No, we can't have that. Uh, never mind. We just make it out like that, like that, like that, and for the moment that should be enough industrial. We'll fill it up later on and plonk industrial down there. Now, this is going to moan about not having water or electricity. So if we connect that up and hook it onto the water grid. And uh, the water and the sewage flow on the same pipeline. Obviously, on the same pipeline, but there's two pipes running parallel, so you don't have to run sewage pipes as well. It's just when you get the um, pipes down, it's all one thing for the sewage and the water. And they're categorized on the same section here as well to make things easy. So if we connect this up near the roundabout here, like that, and they should start receiving water and sewage treatment in a minute. Yeah, they look good now, yeah. Rocking away with their smoke in the air. And there's some great graphics on here as well, you can zoom right in and see the um, smoke being put out into the air, all the carbon dioxide and all that, polluting away there. And uh, yeah, that's why the citizens don't want citizens of whatever we're going to call this town, don't want to be, you know, facing the smoke. So yeah, now if we, we need some more residential, if we just extend these rows down a bit, or even if we break, no, I just had to knock down a few houses to do that so people aren't happy, but oh well. Hopefully we'll plan this a bit better in the future. Like that, like that, like that, and like that, and then we just make all of this residential here. And we don't actually want this bit here yet to be residential. Ooh. We are a little hamlet, so we've got now taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, rubbish, in English, don't say garbage, so yeah, uh, taxes, loans, rubbish, healthcare, education, elementary school, medical clinic, and the landfill site, so uh, people are going to start moaning in a minute, well obviously they're already moaning about power, because what we've got is just the one little turbine over here powering everything and for some reason it seems okay but these people are still moaning and I don't really know why what's going on? not enough electricity but it says there's enough here ah oh, we'll build another turbine anyway why not we're gonna need it soon yes so there's another turbine in action now and if we... what else do we need? 
do we do we put resident? Yeah, we did put residential. Uh, so we've got the turbine down there, the turbines, and do we need a school yet? Uh, we'll make a school. Why not? So now they can all go to school, even though it's still orange, because none of them have graduated yet, because we literally just built the school. Uh, this guy is moaning about water. How's water? There's lots of water, so stop moaning. In fact, we haven't even made water pipes there, so that's probably why he's moaning. About water. And if we... We'll change that pipe over there in a minute, so it links up. That, like that. And... Um, that, that, that. Makes a cool little clicking sound. It gets annoying after a while, though when it's making that clicking sound, especially if you're making a big area of water pipes and it keeps on clicking every few minutes like that. So, uh, they should stop moaning in a minute about sewage because we've just reconnected the sewage stuff. I hope. Yeah, now they're moaning about garbage, so... Oh, rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. We build a landfill site over near Mr. Industrial Park over here. Uh, we build an old dirt road heading off to it. And we'll build, for the moment, just the one landfill site over here. So, uh. Oh, here comes the rubbish lorry. Looking for the, uh. Picking up the rubbish over in the unnamed town. Oh, they've got the big, like, parade of rubbish lorries, the rubbish lorry convoy, heading down uh, through Industrial Park, which still needs to be named as well. Uh, and they're on their way to the roundabout so they can get to town, which needs a name. So, unnamed town. Uh, now, we probably won't get a whole lot done in this video, because just the time we have but obviously I'm gonna have another video up tomorrow as well so should compensate um, they should stop moaning about rubbish in a minute when rubbish lorry convoy from over here comes along and look you've got a little it's this little donut truck heading there and a tractor I love the first per well pretty much first person and another good thing about this game is the mod the modding is just it's openly moddable because they've got like hooked up with Steam Workshop and all that. Um, and basically, there's already thousands of mods made for the game. Like, and it only came out on Tuesday, so that just shows how good things are going to be if you get this game. I'm not, I'm not paid by the company who made this game. I'm just saying it's a pretty good game. And if you enjoy city builders, you'll probably enjoy this too. Uh, right, healthcare. If we plonk a clinic over here, why not, we'll have all of our services here just because don't want to knock people's houses down, they've already knocked people's houses down and they got angry, they put their red sad faces up to show me that they were angry, and people are going slow because after you get a checkpoint thing, they go slow for some reason, so basically for the next checkpoint we'll get districts so we can name places, we need 850 people for that. I think we could just about get away with building another loop grid here. Oh, don't even have enough money. Look, I wasn't even keeping track of money there. Uh, right. If we just plunk residential here, should have enough money now. That and get rid of this little residential there, and we're good. And they're still moaning about power. I don't get this. There seems to be a fault in our power grid for some reason. And seems all okay. Obviously, we need to run water pipes down here to make sure that they don't go thirsty. 
and they can filter all of their tap water because it's probably really bacteria infected here and you wouldn't want to drink the water that comes out of the taps in Pearsania because it's just not very good water uh, power to the people how hard is it to build a working a working power grid it's not exactly state of the art technology but why didn't you come and build the power grid it's not very hard to build but for some reason they're all moaning about there not being power even though there is power um, I really don't see what the problem is we are now a worthy village and we can name stuff with the districts we can have another area although we really don't need another area yet we can have policies we can have a second loan and we haven't taken out any loans industry specialization service policies fire department police department unique buildings forestry specialization agriculture power water these are, these are policies and the police station and the firehouse so i think that's as good a note to leave now as any um, so I hope you enjoyed just this video we didn't get much done but we're gonna get more done next time I guess uh, so that's it here from me Pierce uh, if you like this video give it a like if you didn't dislike and if you wanna see more which I'll be uploading more of these videos throughout the week as I mentioned Monday to Friday then uh, just be sure to say be sure to stay subscribed. Bye.